This video shows how to do logarithmic regression in Desmos. Our example says that the approximate number of users on a specific social media platform Y in millions is given in the table for selected years. Year one represents 2013. So that's really important to know. That kind of gives us a counting off point so that we know what year each of these X values actually corresponds to. So the first um, question or first task is graph the data on a graphing device. So since I'm using Desmos, I wanna open up Desmos here and I'll go ahead and pull it over to the left so I can see the table and my data at the same time. So I'm going to hit the plus button, enter a table, all of my X values go in column one. So one through seven. And then in column two, all of my Y values. 216, 241, 305, 313, 325, 338, and 326. Okay, now let's get a good window. Go to the wrench key in the upper right. The X needs to go um, from a value that is as low as or lower than your least X value in the table. So my least X value in this table is a one. So I might start at X equals zero. And I want my highest X on the window to be higher than my largest X value in the table. In the table, my largest X value is seven. So I'm gonna actually change my highest X for the grid to an eight. And now notice Y is going from 216 to 326. So I might go ahead and do maybe 200 to 400 with a scale of, maybe a scale of 20. All right, let's see what that looks like. So it's going up and then kind of curving over. The options I've given, I'm being given are based on this graph. Would linear, exponential, or logarithmic be the best option? So exponential would not be, and this is definitely not linear. I think logarithmic would be the best fit for this of those three options. Okay, so based on that graph, and you would just select the correct graph in the um, homework system. So we're going to select logarithmic because this is obviously not exponential. It's obviously not linear. It does kind of have that logarithmic curve where it goes like, like that. So it kind of follows that logarithmic curve. And now I want to find a model y equals f of x. And I'm doing a logarithmic regression because that's what I picked here. So the form of a logarithmic regression is a plus b natural log of x. So over here in box two, I'll put y1, do the tilde by doing the shift key and then the key next to just to the left of number one on your keyboard. And then we'll put a plus b natural log of x1. All right, so we've got our A and our B. Our A is 214.622, and B is 65.8811. And it says round the coefficients to one decimal place. All right, so my model is F of X 
equals a plus b natural log of x, rounding to one decimal place, I'll get 214.6. Let me just erase that small dot here. Plus B, which is 65.9, the 0.88 would round to a 0.9 natural log of x. There's my model. And you can double check in your Desmos calculator. That's what we got, 214.6 plus 65.9 natural log of x. All right, now there's more to the problem. We've got our model. Use a graphing utility to graph the function and the data points. That happened automatically when I put my function in, the y1 equals a plus b natural log of x1. So I've got my graph and my scatter plot. It's just a matter of um, matching it up to the correct one in your homework system. All right, now the last part asks, asks us to plug a number in, so we're going to try to find f of eight. Use the model to approximate the number of users in the year eight. So going back to my function, I have 214.6, so I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. So 214.6 plus 65.9, if I'm remembering correctly, natural log of x, I'm gonna put an eight in for x. So let me pull up my Desmos calculator and make sure I got the right numbers. 214.6 plus 65.9 natural log of eight. Now I have to plug this in to my Desmos calculator. So I go to desmos.com backslash scientific. I'll put in 214.6 plus 65.9. To get to natural log, I select function, F-U-N-C. Do natural log, go back to the main menu, select an eight. And we've got our value here. It says round to the nearest million. And remember our y values are in millions already. So that means I'm rounding this number to the nearest whole number. So 352, because the decim the number right after the decimal is a six. So that would round the ones place up to a two. So 352 million. And again, it's already in millions because my original data that I used to get the model said it was in millions. So it's already in millions. So we're predicting in year eight, which is not on this table, we would have a 352. And that seems quite plausible given the values of Y in the table. So again, on Desmos, on the graphing calculator, you put in y1 tilde a plus b natural log x1.